but they, if we go then by Genesis 6, and that's before you came, we, I started reading Genesis 6, before the flood, and the sons of God who come into the daughters of men, and they have children, and these children are the mighty men of old, the Nephilim, the um, giant as it's translated in English. Well, here's a problem in, in, in my way of thinking. Classically, angels are pure spirit. So how could they possibly have progeny with anybody, including human females? But then, thinking about it, I don't think it's as clear-cut as I, my knee-jerk reaction is. In that, we have, for example, Jacob wrestles with an angel. Now, that angel clearly wasn't pure spirit at that point anyway, because he caused an injury to Jacob, so his hip was dislocated. did say to Jacob, you have to wrestle with God. Yes, and that's... And Jacob, Yes. Know? This is actually an aspect of Trinitarian thinking, which I would come on to another time if uh, it would take me right off topic. So there's Jacob wrestling God. Then when, in, in Genesis 18, Abraham is by the oaks of Mamre, the oak of Mamre. Three men come to him. One of them is God, and two others are angels, and they eat what Abraham prepares for them. So there, they're not disembodied either. So there are reasons to believe that we can speak of and the embodiment of angels at certain times. And in fact, there's no reason to believe that angels can't affect um, the natural world. They can affect the natural world, we know that, but we, we don't know the mechanism of a pure spirit doing that. So my view is that angelic existence is, is a grey area for me. And I'm very, very happy to be corrected by the Catholic faith on this because when I look into it sufficiently and I find um, a great big red light over what I'm saying, then I'd simply uh, resolve from that and um, that will be that. But at the moment, I'm just thinking aloud, here then we have the possibility, it seems to me, of speaking about angelic beings who fall, consort with human females, produce progeny, are condemned by God, and all the spirits in prison, they're sent to hell by God, to Tartarus, and there they will remain. 